and we would be forced then to live in harmony with nature. Now, that is a long term goal and may take more than a hundred years to complete, as at the moment most of us, just about, live in cities. Now, in some ways I'm against cities. In some ways they're good. But I think they're more bad than good. And it was only since cities came about that hierarchy came about. Now in my proposal with the communities the only hierarchy would be based on age. So the older you are, the higher you are in the hierarchy. And I think that makes sense and it would work. And it's fair. So cities could never be self-sustainable because there's just not the land around for them to grow any crops. So to do away with cities would take some time. And I'm not sure, maybe there is, maybe there isn't, but I'm not sure if there is enough land at the moment for all these people to be self-sustainable. I guess theoretically there, there must be, because at the moment we all eat just about. And um, greed would be diminished as the people born in communities have grown up, been educated by that community, then may have high aspirations, but the rewards of those aspirations will go to its community. So you're much, much less likely to get such greed because all the rewards are not going to yourself. Indeed, you're having to share it with your community. Of course, this type of government, this type of living, would be very difficult and there will be problems in moving from what we are now to that. But one thing we could start is the fact, is the idea of people being members of a community of that size. And any ideas that they may have can be channeled then easily through the community leader, which would, like I said would be the oldest person, they then would have someone they could contact, and so on. So the individual would actually feel that they were part of a world community. So we could have both globalization and total localization at the same time. But what the world order is really needed for is to ensure that we are not ruining the earth and that we are to try and live in harmony with nature. Perhaps a, um, an idea, one idea could be that um, 90% of all shipping must be done through the use of sails and no, no engines as um, using the wind to navigate the oceans is truly an excellent idea and in 
today's world with the price of energy both to the pocket and to the planet sailing could actually be a viable means of transporting goods now I say 90% perhaps there should be some allocation for certain things that are important at the moment and just think with these sailboats we could start making some big vessels again out of wood and you would have <coughs> need skilled crew and captain to manage these things which would provide many people with a rewarding, enjoyable, challenging occupation. And um, these people would possibly be quite happy. What I'm hoping to create a picture of here is a better quality of life for everyone, rich or poor, without the need for economies. People would have a better quality of life being more at one with nature. They would have a better quality of life with the engagements and relationships they have with the people around them. They would have a better quality of life in the sense of having a wholesome living, forced to have a wholesome living. 